Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake Island Who's Uh I guess you forgot his GoPro again. <laughs> so uh, we're using the phone, but we can get away with it. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video today. Please like, subscribe, comment and share for me. And we're limping around today because I've hurt my foot. So I don't know if we'll be able to go fossil hunting tomorrow. I don't know what I've done. I just woke up and my foot's killing me. So um, I shall see you in a bit. It's also feeding day today. But another thing is we haven't got Mega. But she's meant to be popping in at the end of the day to help us do the feeding. But she's got today off. Um, so our main little jobs this morning is we got to check on the new fish. Check the albana didn't jump out, which, spoiler alert, he didn't. Um, and then check on the Oscars, give him a feed, see if the um, arowana wants to feed today. And then we've got some jobs to do my side. Good morning, Oscars. Good morning, how are you today? Raring to go. We've got our little albino Oscars that will grow up. Be like that big boy. It's time to see the arowana. So he's looking good. So last night I uh, managed to get like a makeshift cover and cover the whole tank. So just to make sure he didn't jump out. There he is. There's Ari the arowana. We get a glimpse of him down the bottom, can we? Oh, there he is. Proper fish. Look at that bad boy. Had some more rescue fish come in. Absolutely loads of babies. Absolutely loads of babies. So they've had a dunk now, they've been acclimating. So we're about to release them, so I thought I'd show you all going into the tank. Are we ready, everybody? Time to be released. Ooh. Come on, everybody, out the bag. Come on, everybody. Last couple of stragglers. Even more rescue fish. I don't know why everyone and I've just opened my own rescue fish place. That's what I'm gonna have to do. Just rescue fish, don't do nothing else. Just takes in poorly fish and recuperates them. But we've got a goldfish and he thought they were silver dollars, but they're not, they're baby pakus. So um, there's a type of Amazon river fish. So we might be able to go in with the red tails because they're a big, they're a good size. So um, we'll put the goldfish in, for, actually we'll have a look at them first, then we'll, we'll put the goldfish in and we'll sort out the pakus. Here we go, so we've got a lovely goldfish, I have to admit it is a lovely goldfish. Lovely goldfish. And then here, this is where we have our pakus. Looks a little bit like piranhas, but they've got a different mouth, they've got teeth like we do. So we've got to get them sorted quick because they're not very happy. So we put, I think these are going to be okay in here, I really do. Would they, would you, would they fit in your mouth, would they, mate? Uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, because really these would be great in there as an Amazon exhibit. Mm, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. We'll put them in there to acclimate anyway. So they're going to have to warm up, so put them in there for now. And then, uh, oh, look at that. He's straight on it. So, let, calm down fish, calm down, you'll be alright. We'll leave them to acclimate, and then we'll take the goldfish in and get them acclimating as well. Come on buddy, you're a lovely goldfish, yes you are. Plenty of space in there, so we can go in with you boys, what do you reckon? Would you fancy a tank mate? Little buddy? There he is, so we we'll leave him in there to acclimate and we'll come put him in in a minute. It's about time we let our pakus out. So, I'm going to risk it for a biscuit and I reckon they're fast enough to get away from the catfish. So, I think we're going to give them a go in here and I might put some of the big fish in here as well, like the big Oscar maybe. How have you been acclimated for a bit now? You've, been, you've had your dunks. 
that way, that's it, right way, you're going the right way, out the bag, that's it, bit more, bit more, bit more, there we go. So we let them have a little explore around, get chilled out, have a little rest. Of course, it's knackering doing that, being transported and kicking off, so they're going to find a nice little place now to chill out, have a rest. Yeah, you have a rest, and then uh, everyone should be all right in the next couple of days. Let's go release ourselves the goldfish, shall we? Here's our lovely new goldfish. You ready to go off, mate? There we go, look at that. Absolutely stunning looking goldfish. What are we feeding first then, Mego? We're going to do spider because he's ready and raring to go. He's been trying to get out of the tank all day because he's that hungry. So uh, we're going to give him a even bigger rod than we did last time. So see if we can, we can satisfy his hunger is the main problem. Uh, so we're going to do first feed on him and see how we get on. There's no one else has that so far because the arowana has let us down. Here he is. The vanilla spider. So we know he's pretty keen on some dinner. So Maggie might want to hurry up. Snake's going to leave the tank. He's going to leave the tank. Oh, is he going to have some dinner? Is he going to have some dinner? He's nearly ready. He's thinking about it. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. Oh, proper job. And he's completely out the tank. <laughs> Snake, you meant to go back in. Oh, you didn't pick him up. You meant to go back in, Snake. So what we're going to have to do, we have to just very lightly, just, oh, just pick her up, like so, and drop her back in. In the tank. Nice and steady. There we go. She didn't drop it. She's happy with her meal. So uh, we'll leave her to it now. And the rest of them, I'm going to film in slow-mo, because I forgot to put it in slow-mo mode. Oh. Here we go. It's Sparky's turn. She's coming so, out again. I've got to because I want to move the moss, but I don't want to get bit. I don't want to get. There we go. There we go. Doing it in the tank or? Uh, yeah, I think he's. He should be. Oh, and he's got it. Oh, he's got it. That's Do a good one. Remember lead. the slow. Mego, I remembered the slow mo. <laughs> Next time, Mego. That was mini Meg as well, by the way. <laughs> um, so we're gonna do rainbow. Yes. Rainbow. There he is. There he shedding, is. look. Is he shedding? Yeah. Oh, he might not have his dinner then. He may not have yeah. his dinner. Oh, oh my, I may be mistaken. Come on, camera, focus. Focus for me, camera. It doesn't like it. Let's be better. Oh, what do we think? Do we think she's going to have it or not? Wah! She bit it, but didn't let, but didn't let go. Come on, darling. One more strike. Grab it for us. Look, that's it. Lovely job. Lovely job. Ate it. Yes. Now we've got to do the baby baby snakes. So now we actually have to cut stuff up to get to the right size for them because they're too small for the actual pinkies. So um, Meg's doing the choppy up job um, as she wanted to man up and do it. So um, I mean, I, I don't Take know. Him She's taking one for the team. I've done it loads of times, like I so said. She wanted to step up and, and, and do it herself. So um, it's not the nicest thing in the world. Um, so we're going to see if the little corn's going to eat and if the albino king snake's going to eat. It is now baby snake feeding time. So. Which bit should I give her? Uh, the smallest bit you got, Mega. Smallest bit you got. So where's the snake? There she is. See if she wants a bit of food. Oh, does that smell like food? Come on, darling, that's dinner. That's dinner. You can eat it, darling. Come on, it's a bit of dinner. You know you want a bit of dinner. Come on, darling. I don't think she's gonna have it. Might have to leave it in there with her and see if she'll eat it up again. Yeah, but maybe we would leave a little bit in there for her. She might have it when she's when she's on her own. Yeah. Or uh, to be fair, she hasn't been in a full week yet, so we've got to make sure that she um, she might not be hungry yet. So fingers crossed, she'll eat at least next week sometime. 
Otherwise, we'll have to speak to the suppliers and see what's going on. Another one to try now. We've got the Albino Californian King Snake. Ah, there she is, there she is, there she is. So we're still in the tank. That's a good start. She looks like she's growing a little bit. She has got chunkier. I think she's got chunkier. But does she want any food? Is the question. I can't see her head. Where's her head? Oh, there it is. We had to leave it in there last time, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We had to leave it in there last time for her. Look at that, look. That way around. Look nice, at that, darling. It's a nice head for you that's got no bones in it. There you go, burnt, darling. Look at that. Oh, oh no. She's not, I think she's going to be leaving it in there, I think. Yeah. Because she's stressing out again, so we don't want to stress her out. Whoa, oh, oh, she's kicking game. off. She's kicking off. Whoa, calm down, darling. Whoa, calm down. Calm down. Stop biting me, please. There we go, back in the tank. Silly snake, what'd you jump out for? Of course, she bit me then a couple of times. 360 flip. Oh, we'll put her back in now, because she's kicking off. Woo, kicking off. Not doing very well today, are we? Blooming now. So, now we're on the Tangerine Hondurian Milk Snake. So, we sort that out now, and then... Uh, who's next after that, Mego? No, nah, mango's, mango's next. Mango's next, then Big Mama. Come on in, Mango. Oh, he's out. He's ready to go. He's like, where's my dinner? Where's my dinner, Mango? Oh, he's got it. He loves his dinner. He loves his dinner. Good lad. He ain't gonna go nowhere. He's too long to fall out. Oh, he's like, yes. Yes, I love my nice chunky food. He is actually putting a little bit of weight on. Just a small bit. So we're gonna try and give him some more and more food. Might give him a midweek one. How's that sound? You want a midweek feed as well? I think he does. Got big mama now. She didn't eat last week. You can see if she's going to eat this week. Oh, she's not in there. She's not there. <laughs> she's not there. She's not there. Where is she? Where's the snake? Where's the snake? There she is. Oh, there there she, is. she is. So this is going to be interesting. So we've got to feed her in there, I think. Hmm. And we've also got to get her shed out that was underneath there, so we do that once we've fed her. Once she's got food in her mouth, that's when we start messing. Safe. Uh, so, are we going to do this? Are we going to do this? It's a good girl, that's it, come on. You know you want some mousy. You know you want it. Don't be so... So play hard to get. She's coming, she's coming, she's coming. She's looking at it. She's thinking about it. She's lining up. And she does nothing. If she misses, she's gonna hit my hand straight away. Don't miss, please don't miss. Come on, darling. Come on, darling. She had it. That's what I'm talking about. We want a fed snake. What are you doing with the snappy, Mega? You know you're not allowed to mess with snappy. Oh, she Here he is. Look at the beast. Look at the beast. Hello, he's a good boy. He's a good boy. Yes, he is. No, you can't bite my hand. He's no. Got a little starter first. You've got you got a starter today before your main course. You have. You have mice a la orange. Oh, he loves that. Little starter for you, sir. A little little nugget. Nugget of mouse. Stop, don't you bite my phone. No, go away. No, you're gonna fall in. You're gonna fall over. You're gonna fall over if you carry on. Stop trying to come out the tank. Look at him, he's almost out the tank. Stop it. Ah! He's escaping. Come on, you gotta go back in. That's it. Nice and steady. Nice and steady. Good lad. Cool. He's a special turtle, he is. He's a special lad. I don't know. 
Hey then everybody, so that's everybody fed, everyone's had their food, we had a couple of mishaps today, but you know, we can't be perfect all the time. So um, we need to get some more little practice with these little babies because they're still really, really scared. So what we might have to do is wait for the perfect time when they're inside the hide so we can just put the mouse just outside the door and they can swing out. Every time we've been doing it so far, they've been under the paper and stuff like that. And they, as soon as you expose them, they're like, ah! So um, that's why they're not eating. So we do that next time. We're going to wait till they're in the hides and we feed them when they're in the hides. And I've, I've ordered some tiny tiny baby with the smallest pinkies you can get so hopefully we won't have to do any more messing around we can just give them the full size little baby pinkies so um, the ones I usually get are like the standard pinkies so they're, they're a reasonable size so um, hopefully we can get these ones get them fed get them going I hope you've enjoyed the video today please like subscribe comment and share for me if you want to watch another video there should be a box there if you want to watch a playlist she lives up there and if you want to subscribe to the channel she's up there so I'll uh, see you in the future bye